Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. As you can tell by the title, today I have another video to add to our Amazon series. I am loving this series and I feel like with this series, I'm able to really try out a lot of different products, share them with you all, but also kind of make more content like surrounding like styling the pieces, showing off my outfits, which is something that I really enjoy. I love getting dressed. I love putting together outfits. So I did want to go ahead and pop my LTK on the screen because I'm going to be doing a lot more photo posts styling these pictures showing the bags up close just in case you're interested the bags the shoes whatever it is that I purchased and like I said I'm just gonna be styling them a lot more YouTube will be where I review them I haul them but on my LTK I'll actually you know style the outfit so if you want to get some outfit inspo or just see some more of the pieces up close make sure you go ahead and follow my LTK it will be linked below and I'm also going to create categories just so it's easier to access everything that I am showing so yeah, I wanted to go ahead and throw that out there let's just go ahead and jump into again today's haul. Okay, so as always, I like to break my videos up into sections just so you as the viewer can view it as you please. So today I have handbags to share, shoes and accessories. So we're going to go ahead and start with the handbags. Now first up, I have a dupe for the Bottega Mini Jody. Now this is a bling bag. It is a flashy bag. It is definitely out there. But when I pulled it off the pack, I was like, okay, this is nice. So let me go ahead and show you the bag I am referring to. Okay, so like I just mentioned, this bag is a dupe for the Bottega Mini Jody. Now, this must be like a limited edition bag because when I went on to check online, this bag right now, you can get it on Saks for $8,500. And they said they only have a few left, so I'd recommend you run to get the bag if you truly want it because they only have a few left. At least that's what the website says. But this is the bag right here. It is the like jeweled rhinestone. And I feel like the camera is really not doing it justice. The quality of the bag is really nice, but the color of the blue, the rhinestones is really what's getting me. Like I feel like it's showing the shimmer a bit on camera, but in person it is even more. And I really do like this bag. This bag on Amazon is $34.99 and I definitely feel like it's worth it. Now you will have to fill it out otherwise it will be slouchy which I don't mind. It does have the single knot right here as you can see. Overall just a really cute bag. Again it is like the flashy type of bag. You definitely are going to pull this out for outfits you want that extra pop definitely not an everyday bag unless you are someone who just dresses up daily you put it on every single day you're flashy which i love you know no judgment here um then this is your perfect everyday bag but for me this is definitely just going to be a bag i throw on to really give an outfit that extra pop so again this is what the bag looks like you can get it online at i believe Saks. like i said they had a few left so run so you can grab it for eight thousand five hundred dollars or you can check the link in the description box and get it on Amazon for $34.99. So this is the first bag. Let's go ahead and move on to bag number two. Now, if you watched my last bag, you know I said with the particular Chanel bags, like the double flaps, the single flaps, whatever they're called, I said I was not really a huge fan, but I did show a bag because I know a lot of people really do love these type of bags. So I wouldn't be a great reviewer if I didn't at least get one to uh, try out and share with y'all before you go out and, you know, buy the bag without actually seeing it. That's my goal of my channel to just make shopping easier for those who view me. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Hopefully I'm doing that. So I said all that to say I went ahead and purchased this bag to just see if I like it. And to be honest, I'm not wowed by the bag. It is a nice bag, but I just still don't really understand the hype. But I will say that this um, bag is not bad. It's actually cute. They do have it in other colors. This is the chain right here. This is what it looks like. Again, it is like a single flap. You just twist it, you open it up, and then that's the spacing inside. Now this is actually a dupe for the Chanel 225. Um, which this bag retails for $6,450. I got it on Amazon for about $24.99. So, I mean, for me, very simple. It would be an easy choice. I also don't have any desire to actually get the Chanel bag though. But if you're someone who does, you like this particular style, I definitely say try out the Amazon version first just because it looks similar to me. Um, I mean very similar like it's just quilted it has the single flap this is the back 
nice quality definitely worth $25 if you ask me um so yeah this is bag number two I knew I wasn't gonna be wowed by this bag I literally just got it because I know that this is a popular style of bag that people typically love so I wanted to just get it so I can share and give y'all my thoughts so let's go ahead and move on to uh, bag number three Okay, now this is actually the bag I was most excited for. I told y'all in my last video also that I was a bit skeptical. I wasn't sure if I was really going to enjoy it because I was scared it might look cheap. Now, this is supposed to be a dupe for the Chanel 22. It is a quilted bag. It does come with a dust bag. I mean, they are really trying to make this a luxury feel. And I'm not mad at it, but this is what it looks like. So you open it up. Here's the chain. Let me go ahead and zoom out so you can see it a bit more. Um, so this is the bag right here. It is quilted and to be honest, mm, it's giving a little bit trash bag or maybe it's just me. Y'all tell me, but for me, it's kind of doing what I knew it would. It just looks too cheap. Like I, I don't like it, but I told you all that I would get it. I would review it. And this is one that to me, it's a fail because it just, it has no structure. And I'm sure once I put things in it, it might be better, but this material right here is just screaming cheap. So I was excited for it, but I was also, I was like well aware that I probably wouldn't be 100% satisfied with it. And I don't like it. Uh, this is probably my least favorite purchase. I mean, I've made some purchases where it's like, I'm not crazy about it, but I would still wear it. I wouldn't wear this. Um, but hey, you might like it just because the overall size and to be honest, I'm basing it off of just pulling it out of the box. Really no, no items are in it. So it's not really holding its size. So y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm not really here for it, but definitely let me know what you think. It does come with a, um, a pouch inside. You cannot remove it unless you just like cut it off. But this is the pouch that it comes with. Again, I saw this bag, I think on Fashion File for $8,500. The bag on Amazon is for $34.99. So yeah, that's the uh, final bag. We're not gonna go ahead and move on to the only pair of shoes I got. Okay, so we're moving on to the shoe portion of today's video. I actually only have one pair of shoes to share and they are these denim platforms. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shoe that I absolutely fell in love with. They are by Dolce & Gabbana. They retail for, I believe, $995. I went on Amazon and found a shoe similar and I have not opened the box yet. I literally just opened all this stuff to share. So you're gonna get my first impression. I'm hoping I really like these because the Dolce & Gabbana shoes, I'm like so set on getting those. And I think even if I like these, I may still get those. That's how much I just absolutely love those. But let's go ahead and see what the Amazon shoes are given. Now these on Amazon were $69.99, so about $70, which for um, platforms, I don't really think is bad. This is what they look like. These are definitely cute. I mean, I know that I'm gonna be able to create some cute outfits. Again, make sure you're following me on LTK. That's where I'll be sharing my outfits. I know that I'm gonna get some good outfits out of these. These are just really cute. Um, so it does come with the strap right here. This is what the strap looks like. Open toe platform, of course. And then you can see the different color of denims that they have with the tan kind of like stitching. These are really cute. I won't go ahead and open the other just because it's the same shoe, of course. But yeah, I'm definitely satisfied with these. I'd give these, honestly, a nine out of 10. Hopefully they're just as comfortable. We're now gonna go ahead and move on to the accessory portion of today's video. This series really sparked my love for sunglasses. I always purchased sunglasses, but I never really knew how much I enjoyed a good pair of sunglasses until I started doing this. So today I have three to share. The first one I'm gonna share if you watch my Amazon videos, they're definitely gonna be familiar. You've seen these before. I just went ahead and got them in a different color. So the sunglasses I am referring to are a dupe for the Bottega Sunnies. I got these in like the pink shade. These retail for $550. On Amazon, I got these for $13.99. This is what they look like. Love these glasses. Again, I have them in the pink color. This is what they look like on. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can tell why I love these glasses. They're so chic. They're stylish. I feel like they still give that luxury look with only being at $13.99. You really can't beat it. So yeah, I went ahead and got these in another color. Honestly, I don't know if they have any other color. They might have like gold. Who knows? I'll probably get that because if I like something, I always say it, I'll buy it in another color. So that's the first pair of sunnies. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pair. 
Okay, now moving on to the next pair. Now, if you watched my most recent video, I showed a pair of Lueve sunglasses and told you all that I absolutely want those sunglasses. And that when I was on Amazon, I found a pair similar, except they don't have the gold frame as you'll see on the picture. So I did find a similar pair to those. Now, these are very similar. I'll put the one that I was referring to on top. These are very similar, except you will see that those have the gold lining I was mentioning, and these do not. But after doing some more research, I found out Loewe actually has a pair very similar to these. Um, this exact style, pretty much cat eye, tortoise, and the actual Loewe sunglasses retail for, um, I believe these probably were $360. I'm not really sure. I'll double check, but I believe they retail for about $360. I got these on Amazon for $9.99. I just thought these were different. I love cat eye glasses. Um, I don't mind the brown tortoise. I actually like that too. These on, I mean, these are also cute. These are definitely a look. These are like really like, I know the other frames that I actually want, I'm definitely gonna have to get those because just these alone are like, yeah. These are really cute. Absolutely love these. I feel like these, when I put them on, if you saw me outside, you'll say, yeah, she got it going on. Like, it's given all of that, and I love that for me. So, these are the next pair of sunglasses. Y'all let me know what you think, and let's go ahead and move on to the final pair of sunnies. Okay, and now we're on to the final pair of sunglasses. Now, these sunglasses happen to be a dupe for a pair of Celine sunglasses. I will pop them on the screen. Those retail for $510. I got these on Amazon for $13.99. Just a simple black pair of glasses. Definitely luxurious. I feel like these are going to be no different than the other two pairs. Here they are on. The shape of these are different. I don't really have glasses with this particular shape. These are just okay for me. I'm not really sure how I feel about how these fit on my face. I do think they look very stylish, trendy, luxurious. I just don't know if they fit my frame of face. Y'all let me know, but instantly when I put these on, I do feel a bit more luxurious. Um, so yeah, there's that. Okay, and that was the final item of today's haul. Let me know in the comments which piece is your favorite. For me, I think it happens to be the rhinestone bag and these two pair of sunnies right here. I also really like the denim platform, so I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite, but if you do, definitely let me know in the comments which item is your favorite. Also, today is the last day I'm closing the giveaway. I'm actually going to be picking a winner. As you know, if you keep up with my series or my channel, we recently hit 10,000 subscribers and I wanted to do a giveaway. I told you all, all you had to do was make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like the video and comment, letting me know which piece you want. I'm gonna use a random comment generator. I'm going to pick, I believe I said two people. I'm gonna respond to those two people in the comments. I'll also post it on the community tab. So make sure you are definitely keeping up with that. I'll also make sure I state it in the next video just in case you all um, don't see the comment or whatever it may be. I just want the winners to know what they won. So yeah, that will wrap up today's video. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. As always, again, everything will be linked below. I'm actually going to make it a bit easier and list this haul and kind of like its own collection. So you can click one button and just see everything I got instead of having to go through and click every link or do as you please. I'm just always trying to make the experience easier for you as a viewer. Um, so hopefully I do that. So definitely like the video and make sure you're subscribed so you can see another video from me. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye.